TA deployment matters. After all, it's deployment which determines the kind of impact any teaching assistant can have on student learning. If they're deployed in the wrong way, then there's not much they can do to make things different. If they're deployed in the right way, however, then having a positive impact is much, much easier to achieve. The work that's come out of, of studies like the, the DIS study, the Deployment and Impact of Support Staff Study, was went and looked at how TAs were typically being um, deployed in schools and the impact of that deployment. Um, and what they were finding was that we'd almost drifted, kind of unintentionally if you like, to a situation where TAs were being used as an informal, um, long-term support, uh, often for low-attaining pupils and pupils with special education needs. And whilst that fate feels, it can feel um, a good thing in that pupils are getting a lots of extra attention, they're getting lots of one-on-one -one support, it was leading to a number of different you know, un unintended consequences. Typically they were being separated from lots of different things that were going on in the classroom. They were being separated from their peers, um, they were being separated from often the curriculum. You'd see teaching assistants sometimes delivering very different material in the classroom. And probably most importantly, they've been separated from the teaching and the teacher. So you get in a situation where um, they were isolated and, and, not, um, and not really engaging or receiving the teaching that was going on in the lesson. So the first recommendation is really to say, right, we need to rethink that and take a wider view of how um, TAs can support learning in the classroom in a way that it supplements but doesn't replace the teaching. We recognise that um, there are situations where TAs are going to be working more with low attaining pupils um, and that's fine, um, but the purpose of that work should be to help them access the learning, help them access the teaching that's going on in the classroom, not necessarily do a different set of teaching over there. So we've heard schools talk about a Velcro model of, of TA deployment, um, so perhaps this is moving towards more of an elastic band, so you've got a kind of, you know, a, still be aware and working with certain pupils but not not kind of not tightly stuck to them um, for long periods. Can you tell us a little bit about the making a statement study? We were very interested off the back of this project in the experiences of children with the highest level of SEN so these were children who have a statement for SEN. We are interested in their day-to-day -day experiences in a mainstream primary setting uh, and what we, we found in, in that project and it built uh, quite a bit on what we learned in the DIS project is that the children who, with the highest level of SEN, uh, the, the use of TAs is quite a strong uh, feature of their everyday classroom life and their, their week in the schools. So um, we found that these children were uh, very often uh, spent more time out of the class compared to children who, who don't have SEN, uh, who don't have so much support from TAs. We, in fact, it was uh, something like one in five interactions that the, uh, the children with statements had with TAs, and it was about uh, one in 50, I think, for the children without uh, TA support. So TAs make, uh, make up a, uh, a large proportion of uh, the interactions and the experiences that children with, with a high level SEN have in schools. So is recommendation one partly about changing this business as usual that schools have been operating under? Yes, I mean the, the, that, that model has come about um, with the very best of intentions, it should, it should be said. Uh, you know, you give children that struggle most more one-to-one -one support, that has to be a good thing for them. Uh, the DISH project showed that there are unintended consequences about that. Thinking about TA deployment at school level means looking at current practice and considering how it might actually be getting in the way of good practice. But it's not about apportioning blame or doling out criticism. Instead, it's about going right back to the beginning so you can redefine the role that teaching assistants play in your school.